So today we're going to talk about how to outfit a Harbor Freight Apache 4800 case for a DJI Mavic 2 Pro. This will work for the Mavic 2 and it'll work for any other Mavic if you want to follow this, this method. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, Brian here. Uh, please remember to like my video and subscribe to my channel. So I bought a DJI Mavic 2 Pro. I have to say I'm really impressed with the drone. I've built a half dozen RC planes, helicopters, built a few quadcopters. This thing is really, really well done. So I ordered a Nanak 920 case from Amazon. You know, those are normally $130. And they sent me a 940 that wasn't even cut out for a drone. Um, it was $30 off. I guess the drones that work at Amazon don't actually look at what they put back on the shelf. So that was irritating. So I have this Pelican 1600 case, and I was going to buy a new foam insert for it, but, you know, the foam insert was going to be 60 bucks, and it would show up sometime before the next coming of Jesus, and, well, you know, you know how that goes. So, coffee cases kick butt. I mean, there's just no other, there's no other way to say it. So one of the reasons that Pelican cases kick butt is like really tough. They double as trampolines. Um, I weigh about 215 pounds, um, and if I can jump up and down on it, it's pretty darn tough. Um, now that said, if you absolutely positively need it destroyed by tomorrow, there's FedEx and UPS they can and will destroy a Pelican case. But fortunately, Pelican has a lifetime warranty. So anyway, I bought that for a dive camera. Um, if I bought a new one, it would be 200 bucks. So let's get to what this video is about. I bought a Harbor Freight 4800 Apache case. Now, if it didn't say Apache on it, I wouldn't know that it was Harbor Freight. It looks like a Pelican case. It feels like a Pelican case. It's got latches where the Pelican has latches. It's a copy of a Pelican case. So, it was $59.99 with a 20% off coupon. That made it $51.95 after tax. So let's see. Can... You know, it's not a pelican, but I'm jumping up and down on it, and it didn't crack. So it passes the fat ass test. So I think it'll work. Um, for the record, it's a little bit bigger than a Nanak 920, and a little bit smaller than a Pelican 1600, and a whole lot cheaper. Yeah, I mean, you can't even buy the foam inserts. So let's just give you some comparison here. It would fit inside the 1600. Not with foam in there, but it fit inside there. So, um, you know, I don't have super high expectations for it, but I'm impressed. I mean, it, it tolerates me jumping up and down on it. Let's peel this crap off here, because nobody really needs to know that I'm so cheap that I shop at Harbor Freight, except for you guys. Peel all these stupid labels off. Yeah, I'm going to strip the Apache label off too because, well, not everybody needs to know I'm that cheap. I actually sort of like the idea of them thinking that I spent $200 on, on a case. So it does come with foam and it is micro half inch cut foam. So let's see, place the item on top of the foam in the desired position, blah 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 blah. Trace the outline using a marker or soft pencil. So we're going to set this here. Let me go get the rest of the stuff I'm going to put in here. So, the first thing to do is to figure out where I want everything, and 
I think that's good. like so far is it's a little tight. But that's okay. I mean, we'll we'll get there. So I think this is just going to go into a little bucket. And that leaves us one more for there. But these can come over a little bit. So there are different ways to do this, and I'm doing this where I just kind of feel my way through it, and then pluck out a chunk of foam. And this mostly works. I like to leave two sections of foam okay so that gives me a spot for my batteries and then I'm going to go ahead and move this over. I actually think it needs to go like this. Now I do want this to be snug, so I am taking care to remove a minimal amount of material. So it's not going to look exactly like one you'd buy at the store.
Okay, so I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. So basically what I've done is I've given it a... I, I, like I said, I want this to be snug so that it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm planning for five batteries. One installed and then four spares. So I've gone ahead and made a pocket for the fifth one. The pocket's larger than it needs to be. That's okay. So, now i got to figure out where everything else is going to go. So I think the controller is going to go like this. Actually, the controller can just go here because it's small and will fit. So first thing you take, like you just saw me do, you make an outline of what you need. And you know what? That's not... Yeah, this will work. It's a little... There's not as much foam in between these as I would like. Um, I should have scooted it that way. So I think that'll be okay. It's a little high. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down another layer. That's better. So that'll just drop all the way down in there. So at this point, we just need some pockets for this stuff. So this is the car charger. Can't say for certain where it's going to get used, so just make a pocket for it. And they'll eventually get stored somewhere else. That's all we need there.
Okay, so we got that in. Now, I've chosen to separate the cables because um, I really think these are going to come off a lot. In fact, I gotta go find the other piece of this. Alright, one of the things I don't like is that there's an adapter involved because I'm just afraid that's going to get lost and I won't be able to charge the um, controller. So that's good enough for that. Alright, so, at this point, the only thing I have left is to find a pocket for these blades. And I think I'm going to get rid of the cardboard. see if they'll just drop in here. They will. Alright, so that leaves me some room for future expansion. I don't know what's going to go here, but I wanted to save some empty space. And at that point, it's done. I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera so you get a good look at this. All right, so that concludes the video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video and uh, hope you found this interesting. And I hope this helps you save some money and take good care of your, you know, a very expensive DJI drone. Um, this gives me a nice secure way to transport my drone and feel safe about it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be sure to like my video. Be sure to subscribe. If you leave some comments, I will get back to it. Sometimes it takes me a few days to get to them. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the comments just wide open because um, not everybody can behave themselves on the internet. So I have to moderate the comments. Keep it positive. Feel free to contribute. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.